Hello and welcome to your weekly pre-order video covering all the, the Forge World and Games Workshop uh, pre-orders uh, for this weekend. Um, I would say Saturday the 24th of February, but um, I wasn't able to do the video yesterday. I had to pop into Norwich and all the rest of it, so um, I'm doing it today on Sunday. So at least uh, there is a video, um, and I think it's worth doing one because there are quite a few things uh, up for pre-order. So apologies that it didn't come out on the Saturday as normal. So let's have a look at the news first of all. Um, well, there are quite a few things. Obviously, there's the Black Library celebration, celebrating 20 years of Black Library uh, novels. Um, if you go on to uh, the Warhammer Community website, you'll see that uh, if you go into your store, uh, Worldwide store, uh, you can pick up a set of postcards, which I think I've just released the unboxing and sort of first look of um, just a little while ago before this video. Uh, also, you can pick up a Warhammer 40k sort of army journal you can write your your army list and things in there and um, furthermore uh, there's the Eisenhorn model which apparently is is in stores but I was at the Norwich store yesterday and um, I think they had 12 models and they all sold out not not very many but they all sold out but luckily I'd ordered mine somewhere else so uh, I was able to get it and give you the unboxing and first look of that yesterday and um, you can also get Lucas the trickster um, quite an old model um, quite small as well uh, on a little 25 mil base but you can pick him up as well off the, the shelf also uh, the Magos novel the Lucas the trickster hardback novel and then you've got um, the second volume of Space Marine uh, Ashes of Prospero and then they brought back Drakenfels and Brothers of the Snake which were um, two titles chosen in a vote uh, last year um, of uh, which novels you want to see reprinted. Then you've got Spear of Shadows and Cadia Stands as well. And then when you buy anything in the store, pretty much uh, you can get the free uh, Black Library Celebration paperback anthology. And it's got six uh, short stories there from Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigma, um, all written by some of the finest uh, authors like um, Aaron Dembski Bowden and Guy Haley and Chris Wright um, and so on. So yeah, um, that's the big news sort of this weekend, uh, the Black Library event uh, coming in March. They've got a bit of a, a preview here of um, uh, what's going to be happening. So there's a big focus now on Daughters of Cain. Um, you've got some ruins, uh, Realm of Battle. Um, really nice i uh, really like like these sort of ruins and things uh the tau get their codex don't know if they're gonna have any new models uh the white dwarf is on its way uh soon and and then the final bit of news is you can uh name the warhammer cafe if you didn't already know games workshop are bringing out uh, a new hq kind of thing um but in north america and i think they're doing it in texas i want to say um so now this is your chance to to help them choose a, a name uh, however they need to have the name locked down by Monday so you haven't really got very long at all um, to put your suggestion in so yeah go for it um, you know uh, if you can think of a, a good name obviously the UK one in Nottingham is Bugman's Bar very difficult to sort of top that name but yeah um, you can go ahead and uh, post your suggestion to them and that's pretty much the news so let's go on over and have a look at the uh, pre-orders so we've got Space Wolves. Space Wolves everywhere um, for Forge World uh, this weekend. Um, let's just have a little look at these. So these uh, Terminators have finally come out um, for Space Wolves. So if you're a Space Wolf player and you got the um, Inferno book, the big Horus Heresy book last year, about this time actually, about February time, um, now is your chance to get uh, you know to fill up your ranks of Space Wolves. So you've got a, a Legion Strike Force there. Uh, which looks to have um, the Grey Slayers, uh, the Ranged Attack Squad, and the Legion Varaga um, Terminators. I'm just calling Varaga, it might be pronounced differently. Um, all in one, along with the, uh, the Praetor, I think it is. And then you've got the Grey Slayers Close Combat Squad. £76 uh, for 10 Space Marines. Let's not beat around the bush here. Um, it includes the Mark III armour. Um, plastic sprue set which is I think about 30 pounds or so um, and then it includes for your other 46 pounds or whatnot um, you're getting uh, 
all of your shields, so you get, you're going to get be getting 10 shields, I would have thought. Uh, loads of different heads, even a head and torso. Um, these really cool looking axes, different studded uh, iron armour shoulder pauldrons, and a little kind of bar banner with like a wolf's head and wolf skull on there. Um, some great looking faces, very bearded, fearsome looking um, space wolves. And here is just one example of such such a space marine. So there you go. I do like the shields and I do like the axes. Um, yeah, I do like the gold that they've done on the chest chest plate. I don't think that's painted. I think that's a transfer. You got the Gray Slayers ranged attack squad. Um, so it's the same price. But instead of the shields, you're just getting uh, the, the bolt guns, which is a bit of a shame because they just look like standard sort of bolt guns with a sickle kind of um, magazine. Um, it's a shame you just get this, the same items there, the same parts as the, the close range one, uh, but the, the bolt guns, I can't see clearly there, but it doesn't look like each bolt gun is different. It looks like they're all the same, same as the uh, shoulder pauldrons. Uh, and the axes are a little bit different because you can see that the hands are higher up or lower down on the axe. Um, so there you go, that's that's those. And then, big release though, is the Terminators. Uh, like many people, well, many people that have said, at least, there might be people that you know um, haven't said that they are for them. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the, these Terminators. Um, I like the size of them uh, and the poses. Um, you know, they, they look huge though, like how small their heads are, um, compared to the, the armor, the armor looks absolutely huge. And for me, at least I just, it's difficult for me to understand that there's a space marine inside these suits, just, just because what the, the way the head is sort of, um, positioned, um, in there, I don't know, it might be because of the facial hair or something like that, but I also can't get over the pelts. I re I just really can't. Um, these thick, squiggly um, pelts. Uh, but hey, there you go. You know, if you do like them, that's cool. And that's pretty much it for Forge World. Uh, no other new uh, releases um, for them. Obviously, we had uh, Rogal Dawn. So if you pre-ordered that last week, you should have got it yesterday. Um, but you, I think you can just go into Forge World now, into the store, and just uh, pick one up. Um, and I think last week we had the hired guns. Um, I really wanted to pick them up, but uh, well, not uh, half horn, but the the other three. Um, but I haven't really done much with my Necromunda, um, so I thought um, there's not much point at the moment. So that's Forge World. Let's hop on over to uh, Games Workshop. Uh, so Games Workshop, wow! Uh, if you go to pre-orders, and if you just search by high to low. And put view all. They finally released Fulgrim, the Primarch of the Emperor's Children. <laughs> no, they haven't. This is uh, Marathi or Marathi. Uh, I'd probably call her Mar Marathi. Um, it's a multi-part plastic kit, eighty pounds. So you know, I would assume it's sort of similar size to. The Nurgle one, but what's really cool about this one is um, it comes as two different miniatures, uh, both of which are included. So you can have her sort of high, they call it Elven, but let's face it, Elven, you know, high Elven um, form, and then the Shadow Queen, her true monstrous form. Absolutely fantastic model. I, I was going to put a um, picture of this model on my Instagram, but it totally flew me by. But I, I really do like this model. Uh, well, both of them actually. They're both really, really stunning. Uh, I do like the blood dripping off off of uh, these wings and the spear and the pose. I think it's so cool. And this kind of snake thing. I mean, if Games Workshop, you know, made like a little um, Kratos miniature, I'm probably giving people plenty of ideas now, but you could turn like a Space Wolf into Kratos, I suppose. And then you've got a God of War diorama, let's face it, you know, with a, with a Medusa. You don't necessarily have to have the wings on her for that, but, um, you know, where the wings go in, it might look a bit odd that you've got holes there or, you know. But, um, yeah, very, very sort of God of War-esque. Uh, I really do like, like this miniature. 
it's yeah it's fantastic love the snakes as well then you've got this uh, blood frack shrine which is up for pre-order so i think that's new um again kind of like a medusa theme going on uh with the snakes and yes uh there is a boob so if you like boobs um there you go but you can have it like this as well wow look at this kind of reminds me of uh, the thunderdome mad max that's what that's what the hairstyle reminds me of that um so yeah look at that that is so cool wow <laughs> Can I use that as my Eldar avatar? Crikey. Yeah, these are some really cool models. Both both sets of this are stunning. Look at that. That's incredible. Wow. Really impressed with this, this kit. £45 to have both of those. Um, I like this kind of stairway kind of, you know, award ceremony <laughs> kind of um, chariot thing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, big fan of that one. Um, yeah, that just says Hag Queen on Cauldron of Blood uh, and the Slaughter Queen of Cauldron of Blood. So you get the... Oh, so you've actually got Hag Queen too. Okay. So let's just have a look at this one then. So yeah, this one's a similar, but it's just got this uh, this lady toasting, toasting a drink. So... Yeah, so three different options, it seems, um, for this one set. Uh, I like all of them, um, but I really do like the, the avatar with the sword on the back. But again, I like the mirror. I think it's a mirror um, and the Medusa type uh, theme going on for that one. So then you've got Sisters of Slaughter. £35 for 10 that's a fair bit, that is. That is a fair bit. Doesn't look like you can see their faces. They're all wearing these kind of gold masks. Put some robes on and it's Game of Thrones, isn't it, guys? I mean, you know, very sort of similar with these golden masks. Faceless Dawn, I think they're called, aren't they? Um, oh. Hang on. You can have them without the masks on. Interesting. Okay, well, that's not too bad then, masks or not. The weapons look pretty good. All these whips and little blades. They're mainly whips though, aren't they? Let's face it. Um, witch elves. I think this is just the same set. So you can make the witch elves or the uh, sisters of slaughter with this one £35 kit. And these ones have like daggers and blades. Cool. Um, you've got this is odd Gene Steeler Cults Necromunda collection so you've got uh, Gene Steeler Cults for use in your Necromunda that's excellent oh that's so cool um, I've got Gene Steeler Cults the fact that I'll be able to use them in Necromunda is just icing on the cake uh, that's amazing I think that's because the rules for them are going to be in that White Dwarf that's what I'd, I'd guess at the Battle Tome is £25 um Yeah, that's that's going to be a nice looking book. So that's quite quite straightforward for a a battle tome. Is it hardback? It is hardback. Cool. Then you've got some Doomfire Warlocks and Dark Riders. I think it's one set um, for both. Um, let's just see. Does it say? Yeah, or five Dark Riders. So you can have uh, either or. And these are males or are they or is there no gender who, who knows i mean they seem male and these seem male doesn't necessarily say either does it not that it matters but um that's quite interesting sort of face <laughs> uh so you got the battle tome daughters of cain digital edition for your ipad or whatever on your phone then you've got the uh War scroll cards, Daughters of Cain. You've got the dice. Um, they're interesting. Uh, £12.50. The Ashes of Prospero in paperback. Uh, Eight Lamentations. Spear of Shadows in paperback. Cadia Stands in paperback. Um, obviously the White Dwarf. Um, which I think will come out. Did they say? 
uh, 2nd of March. So that is only... Uh, that's that's next weekend. Wow. So I should get the White Dwarf sometime next week, guys, and uh, be able to give you a first look at that. Um, yeah, very interested in that one. There'll be a big feature, obviously, in um, for these uh, Daughters of Cain. Um, so, yeah, that is all of the pre-orders. It's very Warhammer Age of Sigmar at the moment, which is fine. Uh, we've had a big, long run of Warhammer 40k stuff with the Death Guard and the Custodes. And, you know, next month we'll we'll get the Tau coming. And then we've also got uh, Necrons. And then um, and Necrons has got a new model as well. And uh, uh, Dark Eldar. So that's good in a way for me because it gives me a bit of a break because it does yeah cost a fair bit to to keep up with all the releases and things um and i don't collect those three armies so yeah gives me a bit of a break that that way um but i'll still be as always um giving you full coverage of all these pre-orders and chipping in with my own thoughts and opinions but having said that i'd really like to um hear your thoughts and opinions of all these new uh, daughters of cain models please do put it in the comments below i really enjoy reading your comments and uh it's nice that we can all have a like a discussion and and talk about uh all the things that games workshop do and stuff and on top of that which of these models are you going to pick up uh is marathi uh, a must buy for you please do put it in the comments below thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects